What's really good you guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I'm really excited about today's video because I am going to be filming my second installment to my fall drugstore makeup series. And you guys already know every single year around this time of the year, I love to sit down and just play with makeup and film different fall looks. Now my last video was definitely a strong take on a dark emerald green smoky eye, which I love. But for today's video, I wanna keep it classic. I wanna do a strong eye, but a strong eye in a sense that it's gonna look good with any outfit, any what? <laughs> any outfit you decide to wear, because I know how it is when you start to play with color, you have to pull back a little bit with your wardrobe and I don't want that to be the case in today's video. So strong classic eye, it's gonna look good all season and very pretty, luminous, and hydrated skin. So I hope you guys really enjoyed today's video. And if you love it, of course, make sure you guys stop what you're doing, subscribe, all that jazz, give it a like, drop me a comment, y'all know what's up. So with that being said, let's go ahead and zoom in and let's get started on today's look. So as I say in almost every single one of my videos, if you have a good base, you have a good face. Your makeup is only gonna look good as the skin underneath. So you really wanna take the necessary steps to prep your skin for makeup. So we're gonna start off with a little bit of skin prep. And I do wanna give a huge thanks to Babor for sponsoring a portion of today's video. I am so incredibly excited to be working with Babor because they truly are a skincare brand that is built on science and heritage. Babor is the number one professional skincare Line in Europe. They're actually made in Germany. And when I was doing more research on the brand, when this opportunity presented itself, I noticed that their mission is to always ask for more. So they're constantly challenging and pushing the boundaries of what's possible to provide more for their consumers, which is really, really awesome. So with that being said, I do want to talk to you guys a little bit about my skin, because as you can see, it's changed drastically. A couple of years ago, I really did struggle with acne and things like that. But right now my focus has changed because I don't really have acne anymore. So I'm really focused on using products that are moisturizing and hydrating and products that are really gonna help brighten any hyperpigmentation. I do have a little bit of hyperpigmentation left over, but nothing crazy. And let me tell you, these products have been amazing to my skin. To kick off my skin prep today, I did start off with a cleanser and I did use the Detox Lipo Cleanser by Babor. Now this is a really great cleanser to get rid of any impurities and that grit and grime. It's a cleanser that really melts into the skin. And let me tell you, when you start working it into the skin, it almost gives you more of like a warming sensation that feels really nice. But when you add water, it turns into more of like a milky like consistency. So this is a really, really great cleanser to use to absorb all the products afterwards. Following that, I am gonna go in with the rebalancing liquid here. Now I do like to apply the rebalancing liquid on a cotton round. So this is just a clean cotton round here. And I like to take about maybe two to three pumps of this onto that cotton round and start working it into the skin. Now the rebalancing liquid is one of those products that's really going to soothe and leave the skin feeling so incredibly smooth. And what's great is that it is more of a sensitive formula, so it's great for all skin types as well. So following the rebalancing liquid, I am gonna go in with my serums. Now, the serum I'm gonna be using today is probably gonna be a lot different than serums you've probably seen on the market. And that is mainly because Babor is the pioneer of beauty ampules, which are these right here. So I do have a box that I have been using. This here is the 8D Hyaluronic Acid Power Serum Ampule. And the best way I can describe a ampule to you guys is that they are a single use glass vial containing highly concentrated concentrated serums to precisely target your skin concerns. This here is a used box. You do have a seven day supply, so you are meant to use it for seven days straight, but I will actually show you guys a brand new box so that way you guys can get a feel for what it looks like when you get it. So seven days, these are individually dosed for max ingredient potency and efficiency, which is really, really nice. So with that being said, I'm gonna show you guys how to properly open an ampule. So when you get it, you are going to see that it comes with an opener you are going to just take it push it down and when you hear the click you are going to snap it off like this and then you want to pour all contents into the palm of your hand 
This is a single use vial. So you don't wanna save any inside the vial. You wanna use it all. And then you wanna start working it into the skin. Now this ampule really is a treatment that's gonna boost any skincare routine. So not only is it going to add massive hydration to my skin, but it's gonna plump and smooth the skin. And I also wanted to mention that these power serum ampules are free from fragrances, artificial colorants, silicone, sulfates, parabens, they're gluten and they're also cruelty free as well so definitely check them out this is what my skin looks like after working it into the skin and it has such a beautiful glow to the skin it feels very very nice smooth and just plump and I'm just obsessed with the way my skin looks. Now, I do have a code for you guys. If you guys want to shop on Babor, I will have it listed down below. It is Ashley20 at checkout. So definitely save a little bit of coin. And with that being said, I'm going to finish off with a little bit of moisturizer. This here is the Detox Vitamin Cream. And I'm just going to take a little bit of this onto the skin to really lock in that moisture before we jump into makeup application. So one more time for the skin, as you can see, very hydrated, moisturized, plump, all of that. If you guys are interested in any of the Babor products I use in today's video, I will have them all listed down below in the description. Again, your makeup is only gonna look good as the skin underneath, so skin prep, proper skin prep before makeup is very, very important. But let's go ahead and jump into it. Let's go ahead and kick it off with a little bit of foundation. I am gonna use moisturizer though. This here is the Anti-Aging Moisturizing Primer by Jouer. I have been loving this a lot. This is the hydrating version because hello, we do want very moisturized and hydrated skin. So I'm gonna take a little bit of that and I'm gonna start working it into my skin. Now for foundation, I will be using my tried and true NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. I am in the shade M1 Punjab. So I'm gonna give this a good shake and I'm just gonna put it onto the skin. And because I said I'm going for that glow, I'm also gonna spray a little bit of the Always an Optimist 4-in-1 Mist. To my skin, this really is the base look that I've been doing on the regular, like anytime I decide I wanna wear makeup. And then I'm just gonna use a sponge to buff and blend everything out. If I do wanna build this to full on coverage, then I definitely will, which again, right now I only have a very, very thin layer of the NARS foundation on. So you can see my skin really is peeking through, but it still looks gorgeous. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with some concealer. Now I will be using the Lancome Tight Idol Ultra Wear All Over Concealer. Now, since I picked up this concealer, I have been obsessed with it. This is in the shade Buff and it is a multi-use concealer, so you can use it to combat dark circles, highlight, you can get a darker shade to contour. It really just depends what you're into, but I find that this is more of a buildable to full coverage concealer, but it never looks drying underneath the eyes, which is something I'm really into. So I'm gonna take this on the big applicator. I mean, come on, look at that. And I'm just gonna put it underneath my eyes to brighten a little bit. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with a little bit of a loose under eye powder because you guys know when you don't set concealer, it turns into a hot mess. And even though we're going for a very luminous base, we still wanna make sure we're setting our liquids and our creams down properly. So I'm gonna use this powder here by Lancome. I don't know what it is about this powder, but anytime I use it, I kid you not, my under eye area looks incredibly airbrushed. I'm gonna take a little bit of it and I'm just going to put it underneath the eyes. I'm also going to take this powder to set my chin, like my T-zone area, because since I live in Florida, let me tell you, that area becomes a hot, sweaty mess if I don't set it down properly. So we got to make sure it's nice and set. For overall face powder, I will be using the Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder by Charlotte Tilbury. You guys know this is my jam. This is the powder that I get down with. I love that it sets my makeup down and in place, but it doesn't overly mattify the skin. It gives me this beautiful kind of like airbrush flawless finish. Literally, 
exactly what the name is. It just looks so pretty on the skin. By the way, I am using shade number two. This here is a skin perfecting micro powder. If you guys have not picked this up, I know it is relatively pricey, but really it's so, so good. So I always recommend it. All right, you guys, we are moving on to the eyes and then we'll jump back down to the face. I do wanna go in with eyeshadow. Now I've had this in my collection for a little minute. This is the Sigma Ambience Palette and I have not been able to take my eyes off of it. Do you see the shadows in this palette? This is like me in an eyeshadow palette. I feel like if I was to create something, this is probably what I would create. I know, pretty basic, but all the warm tones, all the bronze shades, like, everything you need to create a fly bomb look, but we're gonna keep it pretty basic. I'm going to be taking the shade called Day Lily with the brush that comes in the palette. And I'm just gonna rock it back and forth in my socket to give me a little bit of definition in the crease. When I tell you guys, this is really just meant to be a simplistic eye look. It's meant to be a simplistic eye look, like nothing too crazy. You really don't need to get heavy handed with this, although you can. Whatever I have left on the brush, I'm just gonna lightly dust it all over the lid, just so that way there's a nice wash of brown all over. I'm even gonna flip this brush over and I'm gonna use a packing side to pack the brown all over the lid and then just lightly blend with the opposite end of the brush. So I'm actually looking at this look and I can't even help but laugh because I low-key said I was just gonna do a wash of brown in my crease and somehow this is turning into a full-blown bronze smoky eye, but I'm not even mad at it. I'm actually here for it because I'm looking at this palette and I've really been wanting to use some of the shimmers within this palette. So I'm actually gonna mix these two shades here. So this one is called Marigold and the other one is called Midas. And I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna rub it all over my lid with my finger. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of Daylily and Bask and I'm just going to press this closest to my lash line to really just bring everything together. Sometimes I feel like when I leave my lower lash line bare, it just looks a little off. So definitely need to add a little bit of color to bring everything together. Like look how different that looks. Don't skip your lower lash line. I definitely wanna go in and brighten my under eye area. So I'm gonna use the Pixie and Promise. This is called the Shape Shape <laughs> Shape Shift of Palette Sculptor. It's been a while, I haven't filmed in a minute. I'm gonna use this to brighten underneath the eyes because I got a little bit of fallout and it started to look a little dark and crusty. So we're gonna bring it back to life with a little bit of powder. I'm just gonna add a little bit of color to my brows and I'm gonna use this new brow pencil by Makeup by Mario. It is angled and I'm using the shade Honey Brunette because I don't know, I like to think I'm a honey brunette. It is more of an angled product. Just gonna run this through, a little something, something. You guys know I don't like to go too overboard with the brows. So that's really pretty. It's more of like, I don't know, I guess you can say like a pomade consistency. And then I'm just gonna take the opposite end, which is a spoolie, and I'm just gonna brush it through my brows. You guys know I've really been into that boy brow look, so I'm not really going for anything too sculpted, but that added nice color without being too dark. Like this side has brow product, this side, no brow product. What do you guys think? Have you guys tried this? Let me know down below. I actually have so many new products that I want to play around with. I'm thinking about doing like a full face of first impressions very soon because let me tell you, I'm looking to the right of me and there's a lot of products on the ground. So girlfriend, I need to give you guys all my thoughts. So I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of sitting here like, is it time for the wing or is it not time for the, should we do the wing or should we not do the wing? I'm just gonna do a wing. I'm gonna take the shade called Enrich from the palette. It is a dark brown and I'm just gonna lightly start stamping out exactly where I want my wing to be. For lashes today, I'm gonna pop on the Ardell Wispies. I love how simplistic these are and I also love how thin the band is. So if you're a beginner in makeup or you're a pro in makeup, you can put these on very, very quickly and very, very easy. So I'm gonna do just that. So next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to sculpt the face a little bit and I am using the Pixie and Promise Shaped Shifter palette and I was just very intrigued by this. You guys know Promise is known for doing her 
transformation look. So I just knew that this palette would be amazing. I'm gonna take just a little bit around the perimeter of the face. So for blush, I will be using the Makeup Revolution Roxy palette. This is such a beautiful palette. I feel like it is the perfect transitional palette. Like this is perfect for spring and summer. And then this is perfect to kind of transition into fall. I'm actually going to mix these two shades here and I'm going to go to town, pop them on my cheeks. Then with a big old clean powder brush, I'm just lightly going to diffuse out the blush because as you can see, it's very, very intense. Don't want it to be that intense, but I still like love the color if you get me. I'm gonna go ahead and gloss up the skin a little bit with one of my favorite setting sprays. This is Always an Optimist 4 in 1 Mist by Rare Beauty. I'm gonna give it a good shake and cover my eyes actually. This stuff makes your skin look so beautiful. It will literally bring the dew and the glow back to life in my skin, I kid you not. So for the lips, you can go nude, you can go berry, you can really go whatever you want. But for me, I think I am gonna switch it up just a little bit. So I'm gonna go in with my Nude 2 Lip Liner by KKW. I know you cannot get this anymore. Um, hopefully when she revamps her line, she comes out with one that's better than this one. If not the same, but Milani Saucy Toffee is a really good dupe for this, if you guys didn't know. And then for my lip color of choice, I'm gonna be using one of the new lipsticks from Makeup by Mario in the shade Nikki. It's this really beautiful, almost like terracotta. Like it's so hard to explain, but I feel like it's gonna complement the blush so incredibly well. All right, you guys, so I went ahead and zoomed out. And this right here is the final and completed look. I'm really glad I decided to go in with a lip color other than nude, because I'm not gonna lie, I was really tempted to go in with my Line and Load Lippies by NYX Cosmetics and DM me and never listen. This is like the perfect like brownie nude that will complement the eyes so well, but I'm like, no. Switch it up. You never do colors like this on your lips and I'm really glad I popped it on. By the way, I'm using the shade Nikki, which is a new lipstick from Makeup by Mario. I have literally all of them and I plan on doing lip swatches over on Instagram Reels or Instagram TV. So definitely give me a follow over there. I feel like right now, not a lot of people are watching makeup content on YouTube. So I've been very unmotivated to actually film content on here, but I have my little notebook here filled with so many video ideas and just video requests. And a lot of them are gonna be put up over on Reels. Not to say I'm gonna give up on this channel, but I do want to start filming different content and that is going to be like days in my life or just what I eat in a day or just like me just chilling out at the house doing home renovations or just decor videos. So be prepared for that. I'm really, really excited for what's to come. You guys have no idea. Dia. Subscribe and don't forget to check out Babor. I will have all products listed down below. Huge shout out to Babor for sponsoring a portion of today's video. Don't forget to use Ashley20 at checkout if you guys want to save a little bit of money. And that is pretty much it, you guys. I love you. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. And until next time, I'll be sure to catch you guys all on the next one. Deuces.